All right, January 15th, 2022. On my way to Tractor Supply to pick up some uh, chicken starter feed, some, some chick foods. We got our first chicken that was born at our, basically in our living room, the egg hatched, because we had a broody chicken. I got one rooster and uh, we put her in the garage, you know, in the, in the, in the big cage with padded, um, uh, what do we call those wood, uh, wood chips so she can be comfortable, put some water next to her. And before you know it, within about three weeks, a little less than that, we had, I heard some noise. So we took one of these eggs carefully and put it in the living room in the box with the, with the heat lamp. She survived last night looking really good. Uh, very excited about that. I hope you guys are trying to do, do the same uh, when it comes to growing your own uh, food, uh, having your own food. Uh, whatever it is even if it's just a vertical plant in the small garden you got i believe you got to do something okay um, times that we are going to enter are not going to be pretty i always mention on this channel this is not to scare you it is to prepare you if you need any questions what we're doing uh how we're how we're doing it let me know i'm on twitter at the new america 77 on parlor at the new american conservative and obviously on this video blog uh, we are city slickers, are rookie farmers, but um, things are, besides our garden last year that was just okay, or worse than that, I, I think I'm giving ourselves a little bit more props than that. Let's just say the garden was a failure, our beehive close to failure, everything else is looking good. And I'm proud to say that based on zero experience. So if I can do it, trust me, anyone can do it uh, before i close the video off i just wanted to tell you i came across uh, so many conversations with so many people on social media and in person okay how much physical silver how much physical gold you should own there is no right answer for you that i can give you because everybody has different financial situation, health status, age, etc. But 750 ounces is the number that Bill Holter talked about about five years ago. I can't find that video right now. And to me, it made sense. He put silver at 20 bucks per ounce, which I think is a very conservative number. And he said per family had, even if you exclude kids, you and your uh, significant other, that would be 750 times 20. You're looking at about 15 grand times two, 30 grand uh, for your family. You can uh, you can make it through really rough times for uh, for sure a year unless you are way over leveraged, which I don't know uh, what you were thinking uh, and what you are thinking if you're not doing something about it to get rid of uh, bad debts. You might want to do that as quick as you can. And it can possibly um, help you a lot more than a year. Are we just picking one year? Those numbers make sense to me. Uh, those are some goals. Uh, I'm not saying they're going to come true. Obviously, you can do quick math for gold if you don't want to deal with all that metal around because obviously silver is a lot cheaper than gold. So storage is an issue. Carrying around if you have to is an issue. Maybe 15 ounces of gold and that would put you in pretty close to... Uh, Baron status. Uh, David Morgan, the silver guru, put out how much silver to be silver king or silver baron is uh, 300 to 1,000 ounces. King is 2,000 ounces up. So again, this number of 750 would put you almost at the top. I think it's it's not uh, out of reach. I mean, people are gambling. They're buying Bitcoin at $65,000 with $5,000 worth of stimmies that were sent out in the last couple of years or so. I mean, uh, a lot of people do have $15,000 that they just spending on who knows what, right? Uh, so I, I think it's, it's a realistic goal, right? So that would be... Uh, for today, I did exit my shipping carriers out of the stock markets. I posted it on Twitter uh, yesterday before the market close, just because of this long weekend and all this madness with Ukraine, Russia. I don't like the fact that we have this um, market closed on Monday. A lot of things can go wrong. So I just decided to take 20% profits out of SBLK, Starbulk Carrier, GNK, and uh, that was uh, Euroseas, 
ESEA. That one I exited a while back because it was just too volatile. I did not like what it was doing because I set it up for the shorter term hold, not to trade in and out. It was just not set up for that. But these other two also pay a pretty good dividends, especially Star Bulk Carrier. I just exited out. Obviously, I could be completely wrong, but I'm fine with that. I'm taking 20% of those profits, buying uh, real stuff like gold and silver with it, and I will speculate in uh, gamble in the market again when the opportunity comes. And I will keep you posted on this video blog and on Twitter again at the new America 77 when I'm re entering possibly different sectors. I'm not sure if I'm going back into shipping carriers. We will see. My precious metals equities holdings are set up as an investment, which means two to 10 years. I would add to positions if I have cash available, which I might do with this cash that I was going to redeploy somewhere else from the shipping carriers, okay? So remember, using the 20% profits to buy real money with, using that paper to buy real money with, and that other sum I would use uh, if there is a possible pullback, let's say on Tuesday, gold sells off, like let's say Barrick Gold drops 5%, 8%, I will probably add to that position. Why? Because I believe in the fundamentals, as you guys know, for the precious metals and nothing has changed. I'm actually more convinced than ever uh, this is a smart move to do. I do believe in uranium. I'm a big fan of crypto as well, but I like to trade cryptos. And I also don't like... Um, cryptos when it comes to when shit hits the fan I have this let's say personal ledger where I got my Satoshis stored my XRP my Monero and I have to rely on the middleman which is the internet I don't like that part I like to have something in my hand that I know I can barter with which I have already done with a guy named John with some old pickup truck I wasn't sure if it was gray or black it was that beat up and we made a deal for some cattle with the gold coin. Okay, so this gold coin I purchased, it was a gold buffalo, is now, I don't even know where, okay? It was just no middleman. I did not need internet or anything. He looked at gold, checked it out, liked it. We made a deal, shook hands, no fist bump. We actually shook, shook hands, believe it or not, and just went our way, okay? So stuff like that is what I like. I don't think we're, <laughs> We're going to live like that for a long time, but it will happen where your bank is uh, closed up for whatever reason due to health events that we are witnessing, possibly alien invasion. We don't know what's next, right? So uh, we've seen a lot of crazy stuff, and unfortunately, I think we're going to see a lot more craziness um, in a very near future. As always, this channel is not to scare you. It is to prepare you. I did live through hyperinflation and communism and the steps I've seen as a teenager. I'm watching it play out right now, right before our eyes. And I'm just trying to uh, warn people with solutions, not doom and gloom. You gotta have solutions and um, take advantage of the opportunities. There are always opportunities no matter what. If situation gets to the point where you got uh, government coming at your door to take your food, to take your possessions. Well, there not nothing matter, matters at that point, okay? If we get to that level. But for the banks to do bail-ins, basically legally take your cash, oh yeah, you better be ready for that. It is coming, okay? Uh, shortages of food, you won't be able to get chicken, you won't be able to get beef, it is coming. It already happened a little bit here and there. It is just uh, stages, okay? So continue doing whatever you can to be as self-sufficient as possible. I know it sounds like I'm telling you what to do. I'm really not. I'm telling you what I'm doing and why. I'm out.